What's up guys, it's uh, Tenzing from Popper Vintage. So this is our first YouTube video in a long time. And today we're gonna give you a quick tour of our HQ. Can I zoom in there? Okay. AKA our parents' basement. But this is where all the magic happens. Look at this waste man. I'm gonna leave that in there, huh? <laughs> Say that again, bro. <laughs> Say that again, bro. This is the uh, AK Butterscotch guy. <laughs> put, it put the camera on you, bro. Put the camera on you now. Oh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta introduce you. Make a bucket. Yeah, stay here, stay here, stay here. It's still recording, right? It's still recording? Yeah. Okay, so this is. I guess we gotta introduce ourselves first. So I'm Tenzing. I started Proper Vintage uh, like four years ago. Jeez, four years. Yeah. <laughs> four or five years. I'm Dylan. Uh, I started working here. Like almost, May? almost like a year. A year almost ago. a year now. A year ago. Been working here in the basement. And then we got J Bands behind the camera, aka J Dog, you aka J Buddy, aka J. <laughs> Flip the camera towards you, bro. No, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, we'll hold it. We'll hold it. I'll hold it. I'll hold it. Hold it. That's, on, that's the cameraman. That's the cameraman. Right the cameraman, the legend himself. That's the legend right. himself. But you already know him. <laughs> I don't. No, Who people don't know me. Okay, so this is kind of like the main shipping slash listing station. So right here we got the big dog. The uh, iMac. So this is where mainly I list and also where everyone just ships. And hooked up to that computer is our Zebra label printer. This is super clutch. I've had this for like four years. Highly recommended. Uh, I think you can get a close up shot. So it's the Zebra ZP450. I think it goes for around, you can get it for like $200 Canadian used on like eBay and stuff. And then beside that is all our shipping supplies. So we got tape right here. Uh, these poly mailers for which we put all our items in. And also we have these, uh, they're called suffocation bags, I think, but kind of a weird word. But they're just a reclosable bag that we put all our clothes in after we list. So like an example, like this item so we put it in here put it into storage which I'll show you after and then we put it in the poly bag so just kind of like a three-step thing and last but not least business cards you can't forget about that these I got from Vista print and all the shipping supplies that I just showed you actually are all from uh, Uline so usually I list here and we got Dylan over there looking. You can see he's working really hard right now. Not really. <laughs> but he's listing over there. This is my station right here. <laughs> this is where the magic happens. This is where you see, okay, you see? the amazing products being listed right so here. So you see what he's doing right now? Okay. So you want to explain what you're doing? So right now I'm just processing an item. So pretty much we just go on Shopify, use these templates, and we measure it, pretty much write a description for each item, and then, you know, and then it's listed, and then... We'll show you the second part. What we do after that? What do you do after that? After that, we uh, after that we steam every item. Every item is steamed before it is put out. Like we're not just like any. We're not just like any other store. We take our time. With each <laughs> item. Each item is relax, relax, relax. Carefully. Relax. Carefully taken relax care. Still does yeah, not know what you're talking about. Man, you gotta gas it up. Come on. When you when we do finish listing, this boy right here gets to work. This is our steamer, straight from Costco. Usually the man behind the camera steams <laughs> clothes, but are you gonna steam today? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, okay, see. So this is like our fourth steamer in a year, I think. Yo, let's show them all our broken steamers. <laughs> so it's just the one? Dude, it's so we got Dude, it's freezing cold in there. Can you see? Can you see? So we got one steamer here some like PVC backdrops and then another steamer in like the corner there so if anybody needs a broken steamer you know we got you you see that? yep <laughs> see it? he's not working hard he's not working I'm hard. trying to you know you guys need to serve so this is where we keep most of our items so since we are in a basement and space is kind of limited uh, in a perfect world, I would want everything hanging on like a clothing rack, but we only have so much space. 
So what we do is, uh, when we finish processing the item and list it on the site, we pack it up and put it in these boxes, each with a unique label. R43, 32, I think we're on R like 50, what are we, like R56? Like now? 56, yeah. 56. And we started like at R20 for some reason. We got like 30-ish boxes, big ass boxes. Uh, one improvement I would want to make is instead of having one big box, I would prefer a lot of smaller boxes because one thing is when we get orders, especially a lot, we have to take these heavy ass boxes, put them on the ground and then dig through the whole box to find one item, which is kind of laborious, but in a perfect world, that would be ideal. But for now, this is, it works for us. So that's all good. So I'll show you guys our actually our other storage room where we keep all our items on a rack. I don't know how the lighting is going to be in here. Know. Is it too dark? No, it's fine. It's fine? Okay. <laughs> so this is our clothing room. Oh, clothing room, storage room. Just with everything on the rack as opposed to packed up. So we have around one, two, I think six of these big uh, double racks here. Each rack fits around 100 items, so 50 on the top, 50 on the bottom. So we have around maybe six, I would say 600 to 1,000 items in just this room alone. And, cause this, and we have more items packed up into little boxes in here as well, as well as our hats. So I remember when I first started, there was just like two small beds in this room and I would just take items that I thrifted, fold it up, fold it up and then just put it on the bed. When I do get an order, I just flip through it to find it. And that works up to a certain point, but when you reach like a scale where you have like thousands of items in your shop, you definitely need some sort of uh, inventory system. So for us, like as I repeated in there, but I'll just say it again, like just labeling a box, putting the item in the box and then in the item SKU section, type in the box that it's in. It's as simple as that. So when you get an order, you know where it is and you're not sifting through hundreds of items just to find one. So if you guys want to see like a more in-depth video of how we do that, I can make one. Just let me know if you guys would be interested in that. But I just want to keep this video kind of like more, <laughs> yo, this is moving backward. I want to keep this video like more general. You know, just how things go down here. So we're walking, this is kind of like the laundry area. So we got this small ass laundry machine and a dryer. I broke this thing, I swear like two or three times. I think it's still kind of broken, it's like leaking. It's crazy, I don't know. And then this is just the queue for the laundry. This thing gets worked, it's like running all day. This is more storage. So whatever we can, we use this space like to the max. Wherever we can fit storage, we put it. And this right here. Used to be in my uncle's room, but he moved out a few months ago, so we turned it into a little photo room right here. So we'll show you this thing. So this board right here, my dad actually made it for us. It's uh, painted pure white, but also I found that when we were taking pictures, and let me show an example. We found that when the wall was just flat, we, the items just wouldn't sit right for pictures. So what I asked my dad was if you can make something that tilts backwards a bit. So I don't know if you can show that here. Dude. So this thing actually like tilts back. So we have it like a, I don't know what is this, like a 40, 30, 30 degree angle. And just, we're actually using a lint roller to hold it in place. So now as you can see, the item kind of sticks to the wall better and you can kind of give it some width. Whereas, uh, if it was just flat, I don't know, like gravity would bring it down and it'll kind of like be clunky. Yeah. You get what I mean? I can go in depth again. This is just more general, but that's what I just found. <coughs> we also have three, I think they're called softbox lights in here. All off Amazon. I think made by Mount Dog. And yeah, that's pretty much sure photo room so that's just like a general overview of how we do things like on a daily basis if you guys want to see anything like in particular like how we ship how we list 
uh, our storage system or whatnot we can make a video like specifically for that just let us know in the comments uh, anyways thanks for watching stay tuned for more content peace